The Lulbers. That's our word. Brought to you by Bipcot and Fiend Phone. Music by Three Chain Links. I am Seamus Coglin here tonight with Him Jesus, I believe is the proper pronunciation. Yes. And you are? <laughs> You'd like. To... <laughs> uh, I am Seamus McNamara Coughlin. Seamus okay. Coglin uh, is the proper pronunciation. Nice, nice. I suppose. Yeah. Everything's kind of get different now that, you know, we got our Bip Strongs working. Feeling a lot better. Strong. No, that's true. My. My name changed, and I get maced a lot less. Like, people never mispronounce my name anymore, and girls spray me with mace a lot less often. Like, it's not that it never happens anymore, but it happens less. Okay. That's good. Because I, I had a uh, had a, a, an appointment to go see the dentist because I, I had a tooth infection, and I uh, went in there, and they said, no, no, it's fine. Everything's fine. All Everything's fine. Wow. All your cavities are, are gone. So I'm, I'm happy. Everyone's going to be really happy when we come out with this. But anyways... Oh, Bodhi- I, I haven't brushed my teeth for like three weeks. I know. It's amazing. Nothing to do with Bipcot, but I just, I haven't oh. <laughs> been brushing my teeth, to be honest with you, Jim. That's what that I'm was. I'm very busy. That's what that was. Yeah, no. Uh, you can smell it through the mic, can't you? Yeah, maybe we should vote on it. Speaking of voting, did you hear what's been going on by oh, the voting mm-hmm. public <laughs> in the UK where they wrote? Uh, well. Do you want to do this no, story? No, I didn't know there was a candidate. Uh, you can do the story, sir, but what I did know um, about voting and dentistry is that Vermin Supreme is going to force us all to brush our teeth mm-hmm. and is therefore a good candidate, but I'm just derailing at this point. You can get on with what happened oh, no, with no, no, no. Uh, we, we should... in the UK. I understand the story, oh, yeah, but I... unless you want to talk about Vermin Supreme. Oh, I want to talk about Vermin Supreme for a second now, now that you mentioned it, because he's the person that I have officially endorsed for president. I'm going to be, uh, I guess I can't really vote for him because the libertarians don't um, uh, vote in, they don't have primaries. Um, they just have caucuses. So, um, and I miss the caucus for Nevada. So, <sighs> but w- when he gets the nomination Pretty. for the Libera- uh, Libertarian Party, he's got my vote, but only him. Which uh, he will. Yeah, because if, let's face it, America has a moral and oral decay, both in spirit and in sizers. Um, and in and sizers, I completely agree. So he, we need to have a a team of genetically modified monkeys, flying monkeys to uh, ensure that we are all brushing our teeth along with an additive in our toothpaste that makes us addictive, addicted to the toothpaste. Um, it, it, yeah. You, Cause we want to see of shining smiles from yes. sea to shining sea. Yes. It's, it's brilliant. I'm on the same page with you there. That's the one issue where I'm like, you know what? Like the government does need to intervene here. This is, this is very important. We need to fight back against tooth decay. <laughs> yeah. We need to brace ourselves. <laughs> All right, so uh, speaking of voting, um, I guess there was like this uh, science ship. I'm going to call it science ship because I, I don't really know what, what the point of the ship is. Is, is that the technical term? Yeah, science they just ship? said like it's a ship and it's science. It's like a science ship. It does science. Uh, so That's pretty dang. So they're going to have a science ship, and they said, hey, uh, voting public in the United Kingdom, we want you for our new, uh, the name for our new ship. And I'm getting an ad. Thank you. Um, so the, they had this big campaign called Name Our Ship. Um, and they had, they had like, record turnout to name this ship. And um, ap- after, <laughs> after, uh, after it was all said and done and the dust settled, it turned out that RSS Bodie McBoatface was the number one <laughs> winner of it. And it, it, beat, out, it beat out Henry Woes- Worsley and David, At- David Attenborough, who uh, I don't uh, I, I don't know what that is. I don't know. Dude, I like Bodie McBoatface, but the problem is if there's ever some sort of disaster or tragedy with that ship, I don't know how they're going to print that on the front page of the news. Like, Bodie McBoatface disaster, hundreds of sailors dead. Sci- like, oh, scientists, yeah, science, science sailors. They're science. It's science all science. Sailors, science sailors on the science boats could not make it to the science lifeboats in time after the science iceberg was struck. <laughs> But we, at least we know and about Bodie, icebergs and right science. We have science about boats now. Do I thought that icebergs were pretty much just a mystery to science. They kind of don't know where they come from. Yeah, fucking icebergs. How do they work? So far more serious names included um, included RSS Henry Worsley, named after the British explorer who died while attempting to cross the uh, Antarctic alone. Um, the name and contest be, uh, begin trending on Facebooks and numerous media outlets, uh, and then they begin reporting on it. A quick-thinking individual snapped up the Twitter handle name at Bodie McBoatface and began retweeting in support of the silly name. And uh, of course, they have to shut the show 
the tweets. Why why is that a thing now? Like we're serious you know, news outlets are showing tweets. You know what? I did hear quite a few contemporary libertarian thinkers say that the internet would revolutionize democracy, and I think this is a step in the right direction. Yeah. No, Can we name the president? Can we have a thing where we rename the president of the United States? You know how the Pope has to take on a new name when they become the Pope? What if the president had to take on a new name, but we got to vote on what the new name was? I would be all for democracy. That, that would, the, the, Democracy is the God that failed, but this would help it succeed, right? <laughs> this God would be successful once again. I would absolutely be fine with that. But like the the opposite party got to name the president no matter who he was yeah. like oh, i don't think it's fair that though Could, i was going to say the, yeah the uh, the contest what? isn't over i thought it was but apparently it ends on april 16th uh and the the panel will ultimately decide on the final name so they're probably going to pull like a broker uh, convention yeah they're probably going to pull a bo- brokered convention <laughs> and say like nah, no no the voting public's too that. stupid you guys voted for donald trump and Bodie sham. mcboatface we're not doing this not going to happen Democracy is a sham, Jim. Yeah. It's a sham. This is proof. Yep. <laughs> this is absolute nonsense. I mean, wow. Me being a socialist and whatnot, I would be uh, would normally be in favor of something like that. I would normally be in favor of just a small handful of people being able to make choices for everybody else. But when it comes to Bodie McBoatface, democracy has made a, a very important and sacred decision about the name of this vessel. This science ship. <laughs> the science ship. But but you're it's not like just a not you're not just, a science guy. But it's okay if you're a socialist because you're a democratic socialist. That that makes all the difference, right? I'm a democratic. Yeah. It's much well. Okay. To be fair, I am a national socialist, but I adopted the democratic socialist thing because it's like the most similar that I can find. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 National socialism and democratic socialism, they're not all that different, to be honest. Yeah. Just just one. Just yeah. We're gonna privatize all this. Yeah. We're nationalizing it, but you can run it, company. You can run it, company that yeah. were fav- that that gave me money. Yeah. Yeah. Literally the same, same yeah. thing. So, uh, so Trump, I guess we're you know, <laughs> bony big boat face for president. People, let me tell you, people are very <laughs> misinformed about Hitler. And one thing people don't know is that Hitler actually attempted a sort of socialist revolution in his country. That's why he was in jail. He tried to overthrow the government with like a small brigade of people. And of course he failed, even though the, Ger- the German government was terrible. Like it wasn't so terrible that it could be beat by an art school dropout. Uh, and so he ended up getting locked in jail and writing Mein Kampf and just going through the system democratically. But it's funny because he, I mean, if he was a social, it's, it's ridiculous that they try to rewrite that part of history. Like he did have some German traditionalist views, but they try to make it out to seem as though he was like completely right wing. And I get fascism is right wing, but it's still like fascism and socialism are cut. They're like the same thing in so many respects. Well, this kind of goes back to the horseshoe theory. And, and MK Lawrence was talking about when she was on, which is great because that's when I started really getting to the horseshoe theory. And that that's the theory. It's, it, you know, where you have um, like a horseshoe and you imagine the spectrum from left to right from one end to the other. But when you notice that the the, the far left and the far right are closer together than the centrists. And, you know, libertarianism, at least general libertarianism, is is a centrist ideology, right? Like, they're more left on sex and right on money. So it would be a little bit more centrist. But when you get to the far end of the extremes, that's when you have, like, fascism. That's why you see, like, social justice warriors act just like white nationalists. Like, they behave the same as, like, Stormfront. And, in fact, there's, like, a Reddit that you can go to. It's interesting. (laughs) And the whole point, like, it's like a game. And you have to guess whether or not, like, this quote where they take out all the, all the, the, the proper nouns or whatever to, you know, that really clarify what it is. Like, so it'll say, like, I want to, per type of person, um, you know, I want these type of person to die in a, in a, type of way of death like you have to say like okay is that a social justice warrior or is that a nazi yeah, from Stormfront? i saw that yeah <laughs> and it's like, so hard to it, tell instead of um no you're instead of uh it'll like instead of saying degenerate or shitlord or something it'll just say or replace with a random adjective and you have to guess whether or not it's a storm person or a uh or a social justice warrior. it's actually funny sargon of Akkad did that on his channel he played the game with it i thought it was pretty entertaining because it's true and once you get to a certain point like, uh, Storm, I mean, they, they are social justice warriors in a number of respects. Yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they, they kind of want social justice, just a different type of it. They want the other version of it. A different type of it, yeah. Yeah. 
So instead of hating white uh, white cisgender males, they want them to be like <laughs> they want them to be put on a, a pedestal, and then everybody else, you know, in, yeah. into the ovens they go. Um, but you they're know, they're like but, traditionalists. Um, they're traditionalist social justice warriors, if that makes sense. Yeah, but it's amazing how many of those are like. Like, oh, like America's going down the tubes. It's terrible. We're all degenerate cucks and blah, blah, blah. But then they, you know, all of their avatars are anime characters. <laughs> so, I mean, like, I don't, <laughs> like it's like, it's I, so I, I don't true. even know what's going on anymore. But yeah. Don't Boating's... talk to me or my waifu's son ever again. Yeah. <laughs> or Bodie McBoatface or its son again. Or its scientists ever Bodie. again. <laughs> yeah, or it's not, don't talk to any of the scientists. I am an esteemed scientist who studies on the Bodie McBoat phase vessel of knowledge. RSS Bodie McBoat phase. It sounds a little bit more professional when you say Bodie RSS Bodie McBoat phase, right? RSS Bodie McBoat phase does to an extent make it far more um far more acceptable and maybe maybe if we put RSS in front of it, we'll be able, like more likely to sneak it by the yeah. council. They'll be like, oh, RSS, that's acceptable. We read the first three letters. It must be a good name. And be like, approved. <laughs> Why is it every time you're on, we end up talking about boats? <laughs> I don't know. I, is that a thing? Yeah, I guess. Because we were talking about our first first maiden voyage. <laughs> our first, our first wow. So, anyways. I didn't even make that connection, dude. It just dawned on me. Anyways. Because um, my life is just an endless sea of depression and misery, Jim. Yeah. That's why I make cartoons. I bury myself in a false reality created by myself in order to compensate for the darkness of my soul. How does that sound? It sounds like something I would read on uh, nihilist memes. <laughs> well, it was. I'm not quite a nihilist, but. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm not depressed. All right. No, no, you go on. You go on, sir. Well, I was, like I had something to say. Go ahead. I remember I took a Norco before no, no, I started the no. show, so oh. uh, this is going to be an interesting show. <laughs> this already in has been an interesting show. I cannot wait for that to kick in, to be honest with you. <laughs> Why are we taking it? Were you with the dentist or something? Uh, yeah, uh, I was magically cured, but they gave me painkillers anyway because they were nice. They were nice wow. people. That's what nice people do. They give each other painkillers. So, um, wow. yeah, but anyways, I'm going to have to get a, a root canal. Um, the Bip Strong wasn't strong enough for that. So, uh, Dude, yeah. what the – are do, the Bip Strong didn't pr- – dude, I want a refund, to be honest with you. <laughs> I think it was just mine. I think I got a defective. I'm going to go get another one and try that one. Okay. On. That, that yeah, you need work. to get another one. Yeah. It, I think one of the letters fell off. I think that's what happened. Oh, and, um, anyways, um, <clears throat> we talked too much about that. Um, uh, <laughs> dude, I got I – got, I, you know what? Want to hear something crazy, though? I w- so it's a long story short. I ended up, due to unfortunate circumstances, needing to ride my bike through a very poor um, – and by poor – I don't mean, well, I mean, I do kind of mean like poor, but like a bad neighborhood, like a neighborhood you don't want to be in. And I was riding through at night and I oh, got so shot kind at. Kind of like Steve uh, Miller Miller's several, neighborhood, right? You were driving through Steve Miller Miller's? Yes. Okay. It, was, it was the same neighborhood, actually. Okay. It was, I was stopping by to see him uh, and I got shot at several times. And each time my, my, uh, my, my Bip Strong actually, uh, it, it saved my life. Okay. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah, it it deflected the bullets. So it might not have been able to help you with your root canal. By the way, how many bullets uh, can it save you from before it like before you reach the limit? I think I I think it has I think it has a ten bullet uh, guarantee, but I've heard cases cases going up a little bit higher. Um, It really depends on your location and altitude. You know, sometimes it happens, or um, the amount of state that's in your that that's in the uh, locality. So it really all depends. But you have, but you have a ten bullet okay. guarantee, so you're you're good to go. Ten bullet yeah. guarantee. All right, so only a few more bullets before I need to replace it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. So uh, you really can move to Somalia with this thing if you bring enough of them. Yeah. Oh, speak, speaking of Somalia, um, we should talk about Pork Fest and what's been going on with Pork Fest, right? Have you heard of what's been going on with Pork Fest? Like a bunch of people are going to be boycotting it. Have you heard about this? I heard people. I heard some people got banned. Okay, so. Uh, backstory. You, you know who Ian Freeman is from Free Talk Live, right? Yes. Okay. So, oh, oh, I I know Ian. I actually don't know Ian, but I, I wanted to say that I I, I know, know of, of him. Ian. Okay. So you know of Ian? I know of Ian too. I've talked to him. Uh, on, you know, I've called in. I used to call in a lot uh, way back in the day. 
Uh, but really, anyway, would they, did they were they excited to talk to you, or were like were you that guy? Uh, actually, uh, actually, Mark was excited not to talk to me because <laughs> I used to end up really? diverting the conversation to talk about how he was in a cult. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> why would you? <laughs> what? What is? Wait. What? Yeah, because he was in. A, he's, I need to hear this story. Yeah, because he he used to be in. A, I don't know if he still is, but he's in a group called Landmark Forums, which is a, 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 a destructive. Uh, abu- uh, what is it? Uh, it's a. It's um. Norco, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, considered a uh, an abusive cult uh, by by pretty much every professional in the industry deems it a cult. And um, so, in the industry, the cult, J- Jim, you think everyone's in a cult? This is your thing. You're like, no, this guy, this guy's in a cult. This guy. <laughs> So anyway, like I used to call in and Ian, Ian used to bring it up and then just, and then I would call in and then it got to the point where I would call in every once in a while and talk about a different cult and then Ian would always steer it back <laughs> into Mark because <laughs> he knew that I would do that. <laughs> so I was like, oh, okay, I'll talk about Landmark. Um, but uh, anyways, got off track. Uh, he he's had some disagreeable opinions about age of consent, at least from my perspective. Um, I have heard about this. Yeah. I've heard him discuss this actually. Yeah. And it took, it took a couple, I think Tassaw showed me a video and I was like, Oh yeah, I forgot. I forgot the, <laughs> that he had this opinion too. Um, so anyways, um, because of it, but he's had this since what? 2010. I think that's when he started talking about it. Um, so the pork fest organizers knew about this since 2010. They've, uh, you know, since then had what five pork fests and, and one upcoming since this happened. Um, he's had a, a girlfriend who was underage, which ha- he had approval from the parents, I guess. Um, and they let her, her come twice. Uh, so they, they've had no problem with this whatsoever for all this time. And then once a politician had gotten arrested for soliciting a 14-year-old online for sex and getting caught with, like, some, I guess, Norcos uh, <laughs> or something like Norcos mm-hmm. and um, some mushrooms and, and marijuana, um, and, and now, yeah. he's, now he's facing charges. And he basically had the opinion, like, I don't know what's going on with this thing, um, so I don't really have too much of an opinion, but, you know, it seems like there was no victim if he was soliciting an FBI agent, which is wrong because originally – the the account was actually ran by a fourteen year old girl, but then they went to the police, and then the police took and over the, the account. Agent took over. Yeah, so um, I heard about. So this. he was wrong. I didn't about know that. police. I didn't know the account was actually. Uh, sorry, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, interrupt yeah. but uh, I didn't know that the account was actually uh, run by a fourteen year old. I thought it was just entrapment from the police. But either way, I, d- I still didn't necessarily agree with his opinion. But yeah. I did. I did think, as far as making a case defending something like that. He didn't sell me on it, but like he did an exceptionally good job making some arguments for for something that heinous. <laughs> yeah, it was just yeah, age, age of consent. It's not black or white, and, and uh, people and in you know they always try to say like, oh, well, you know, what's the defining age? You can never have a defining age, you know, because consent is a spectrum. You can at certain ages you can consent for certain yeah. things, and when it comes to sex. When you're at that age, you're in a co- you are basically high on a cocktail of of hormones that you can't. You can't possibly, you know, consent, you know, you can't take responsibility for your mm-hmm. action, uh, you know, just like you can't take consent when you're that drunk. You can't take consent about sex when you're on yeah. that much hormones. When you're that young, you're just dumb. You're, you're, you know, you're boner crazy. No, I agree. Yeah. So I'm still pretty dumb. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, um, so I guess because of that pork fest or, uh, or the free state project, Incorporated, whatever, had had banned him from uh, further events, including Pork Fest and the Liberty Forum, which is their two annual events. And so everybody's kind of upset about that. And the reason why I'm upset about it is not because he had a bad opinion, which they have the right to do. They can totally do that if they want. But my problem yeah, exactly. is I don't think that it had anything to do with that arrest. It had to do with trying to figure out a way to nail the free keeners somehow for what they did at uh, Liberty Forum, which you know Ian didn't do. Uh, it was another person named Ian Garrett who had recorded a conf- uh, the the interview with Edward Snowden at the uh, after they all signed a contract saying they weren't going to do it. But I guess one of the other free keeners, not mm-hmm. Ian, had recorded it and uploaded it to YouTube. And I think this is a retaliation for that because they've never had a problem with that up until now. It took them six years to figure out that he had this opinion that he's talked about many times before, but now they have a problem with it. You know, and now they found you know a reason for him to just talk about it again, so they can nail him on it. That's my that's my conspiracy on that. And then the FBI ended up raiding their house. Did you hear about this too? Right? 
uh, the the LRN studio. I saw an image of an FBI agent. I saw an image of a an officer standing outside one of their homes. Yeah. I guess there was an I investigation. Didn't read too much into it. Yeah, there was an investigation. Which the the point of that was that I guess because they they have like an open Wi Fi system where anybody and it's like an open center where everybody can come in. It's almost like a like an activist center. Uh, they they call it a church. I don't know what that's all about, but. <clears throat> It's a cult. But must be a cult. It, it's a cult. It's clearly a cult. Uh, so anyways, they have this cult, and <laughs> anybody can come in and use the Wi-Fi. So <laughs> anybody who, who's been there in December could have popped on there and went to the government's website, which, by the way, the government has a website on the dark net that distributes child porn, and they do that to catch people getting child porn. What? Yes. So one of the, one of the people who went there, uh, allegedly went there, uh, went to this dark net website and acquired some child pornography from the FBI's website. And, and they decided, to, it seems like they decided to use this opportunity to, to go in and finally bust them. Now that there's already been a little bit of a, a strike or two against them in the court of public opinion. So now you have three strikes against them in the court of public opinion. You got him with his girlfriend. You got two, you got uh, him with getting hit by the free state project. And now you have this. And you know, once you mention child porn, it's game over. You know, in court of public communion, yeah. if child porn's involved, you're guilty. No, no. Well, in, <laughs> yeah. in, in it, that, so there's obviously something about that, like, obviously that should be the case to the extent that if we know someone's, like, messing with children and looking at child porn, absolutely we should give them a pretty, pretty low Yelp rating in the court of public opinion. But uh, you, I mean, it's like, it's so scary because I feel like anyone can get accused of that without evidence and people are going to be inclined to believe the accusation because the risk mm -hmm. of not believing it is so high. Yeah. And he, by the way, he wasn't arrested. So I'm told, but they ended up canceling keen vention over this too. So, so, so they, they care, supposedly, but... um, let me, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. They found pornographic images of people under the age of 18 or children or no. what? What's no, the what, charge what, here? what they, what they found was that someone at that home went onto that website and, and viewed it. And when you view it, it downloads on your computer. That counts as you having it on your computer, hmm. whether or not you deleted okay. it, you had it so, on your computer. So they, they're now, they ended up taking all of their computers out and they're going to try to figure out which one of the machines accessed that website. Which, by the way, you know, it's going to take years. And by mm -hmm. the time they get the computers back, they're going to be outdated and worthless. <sighs> so there's that. That's a mess. Yeah, but they That's haven't found anything yet. So, so is it possible? Is it possible that he was visiting? This sounds so cheesy and like such a nonsense, like such a BS excuse. But could it be true that because of his involvement in anti-government circles, he was visiting that government for re that website for research, or because he knew that there was a website somewhere on the dark net where the government was distributing this material? Well, I mean, is that within the realm of plausibility? Well, it's, it's in the realm of possibility, but not really, because they had they had did a story on this, I guess, like a couple months ago, where they were talking about how the government has this website, but that was after the alleged access of that website, according to the FBI. So it was probably someone before then may have been looking into it. That's possible. It's, you know, because that's what they do. They like, like researching things and they know how to use the dark net. So like, Oh, when they hear about this website, they probably want to go to look at it and make sure that, you know, it's a, it's a true story, but it's also possible that, you know, one of the people who showed up there was a pedophile or it just could be just totally bogus charges f from the get go. So we are, until there's like a charge, we can't really say what's going on, you know, at least we see yeah. some evidence, wow, but there's no evidence. That's really yeah. messed up. Yeah. And it it's sucks. a very unfortunate situation. So because of that, a lot yeah, of people are going to boycott, uh, boycott, uh, pork fest. I was already not going to go, um, uh, for other reasons, uh, mostly yeah. financial reasons, but now it's kind of like, oh, I don't want to go. And I'm, I'm working with some of the people here in Vegas well, loosely, and we're going to try to look into doing something, probably not this year, but next year, probably having some sort of camp thing in the fall or early spring so it's not too hot in Vegas, and that would be fun, and that way we wouldn't be competing with. Another thing that's happening is Fiendfest Somalia, which I guess is going to be happening in the same town at the same time, <laughs> so they're going to be competing with oh, no. Porkfest, so, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Dude, I would go to Somalia for Fiend. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, that's such a tr that's such a messed up situation. That's so bizarre. Yep. That's terrible. I mean, and that's one of those things that, like, if someone in your movement gets caught doing something like that, people are going to use that to paint everyone with that with that same brush. 
Yeah. Should have got a bit strong, I guess. But um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, if he had a bit strong, he this never. If he had a bit strong, he never would have went to that website. No. It's like it provides you with a secondary conscience. Yeah, I've 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 seen it. I've been like, hmm, I'm gonna look at gay. No, no, it's immoral. <laughs> it's immoral. I'm not gonna look at. Hey, yeah, it's good that it protected you from that. Yeah, but I, then I ended up looking at regular. The other day porn. I was so, like, yeah, I think I think this one actually is broken because I actually wow. looked at regular porn which is, you know, what I prefer. That's, anyway, it's definitely so. broken. It's yeah. definitely broken. I, um, no, it's, it's, I mean, mine definitely works really well. The other day there was an old lady crossing the street and I actually, I helped her. Uh, normally my tendency is just like shove her, like boom, push them out of traffic. Cause I'm a libertarian and I'm like, she's just leeching off social security. Oh, anyway. of course, like, yeah. One less mouth I'm feeding. Yeah. We know how heartless we are. I keep getting that accusation, man. It never gets old that I hate the poor. I get why we joke about that so much because people really do yeah. throw that accusation my way. I feel like on a few of my videos now, I've gotten this comment saying something like, you say you're a Christian, but you don't want to help the poor? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> yes, I want to help the poor. I don't want, I don't think the government's effective at doing it. Like this is, this isn't that complicated. And by the way, aren't you supposed to be against, for, like, aren't you supposed to be against the idea that I would force my religious beliefs onto you? Mm -hmm. Like I thought it's bad to want certain legislation because of your religious beliefs, but now you're telling me I should want this legislation because I'm Christian like mm, stop and think about that for a moment because it's Mr. it's only Liberal. bad it's only bad when government's in your bedroom it's not bad when it's in your wallet that's the difference yeah yeah that's yeah exactly <laughs> yeah that's that's oh, a, so such annoying. a stupid <laughs> stupid arbitrary line <laughs> like how about double why yeah. porque no las dos <laughs> like why do we have to have them in any like, yeah. Yeah. get them out of everything <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly nope never gonna happen and it's crazy like what they consider the government being in your bedroom like anytime there's any legislation that's passed that they don't like like they'll they'll bring it down to, like the government doesn't belong in my bedroom like dude me <laughs> Me not paying for your birth control is not the same as the government being in your bedroom. It's yeah. actually the government literally being as far out of your bedroom as they can be in that particular circumstance. Yeah, because now they know exactly what kind of birth control you're taking, right? So that you're going to have some yeah. sort of record of it. They know what kind of birth control you're taking, and they're paying for it. They're paying for it. Well, no, the rich people are paying for it because they're greedy. And you're right. The, greed, the one percent. The, the greed... Oh, everything's green. <laughs> Which, by, oh, I saw a great movie yesterday uh, called The Big Short. Have you seen this yet? It's really no, good. No, I thought you were going to say it was called Alongside Night. Oh, <laughs> that goes without saying. That and The Happening uh, and Troll 2. But no, this one <laughs> actually actually is a good movie. Uh, it's not like Double Down where it's only good because it's terrible. Um, it's about it's about the, the mortgage crisis that happened, and it explains what actually happened during the mortgage crisis. They don't really get into the government's role so much. Uh, which I wish they would have done, but they got into. Oh, we got an alarm. That's great for the podcast. Thank you. I'm gonna leave this in, by the way. Because wow, reasons. great job, him. Thank you. Great so, job, <laughs> great job, him, Jesus. But it was really good, and it kind of explained like everything that happened with the with the with the mortgage backed securities and everything like that. And it didn't do the well. It would have been stopped if we would have had you know Glass Steagall back. You know, whoa, whoa. And it didn't do any of that. Um, it did mention once, like you know, like oh, they kind of joke, like oh, all these people went to jail, and you know, they pushed some reg regulations. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, they wouldn't do that. They just blamed it on the poor and the immigrants. I'm like, oh, not really. They you know what? they blamed it on rich people. I'm sorry, <laughs> they blamed it on the greed. I don't know. The rich are the worst, dude. I'm like, Literally I am so Hitler. sick and tired. Like, like what? I don't poor people just buy more money. Like people don't realize that's the libertarian <laughs> attitude. People think like get the government. People think the libertarian attitude is that everyone will flourish in a free market, free of force and aggression. But like at the end of the day, the truth is, I just think poor people should buy more money. I think they're lazy for not doing it. Yeah, they just go to the market and buy some monies. Yeah, but um, if, if you look Their at like if you gym. look at like when the people always like you know look at all these pe poor people in America like you can point to vagrants but you know, vagrants are a different story than just people who are in poverty people who are in poverty in the united oh. states know not poverty they they still have you know they yeah. still get three hots in a cot most most of them <laughs> the vast vast majority yeah. of people yeah. in america they still you know they don't have malnutrition they don't have that big gut stomach you know from from malnutrition you know they yeah. um they're not oh, dying right. of malaria and aids and it's 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 not even like that um 
when you get into like vagrants, it's not, it's not to say when you get into vagrants, it's like, oh, sorry, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> I'm not a fan of anything. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, when you get into vagrants, it's because they have they have drug and mental illnesses, which, you know, that's a lot of that's the government's problem as well uh, with, with a lot yeah. of them, especially with no. a lot of them being veterans and stuff. So. No, I would, yeah. I would agree with you there. I think that one huge part of it, the part of the puzzle is like, look, again, even though a lot of poor people like do have quote unquote enough, I recognize that a lot of them like have difficult lives and it's good to help yeah, them. And not, that's why I, I encourage people. And I, yeah, and I encourage people with one of my latest video releases to try to volunteer uh, at a soup kitchen or donate to a food pantry or something along those lines because these are problems it's, that need to be solved but should be solved within a free marketplace. But even then, the problems aren't necessarily what they're made out to be by the left because what people fail to realize is that what we describe as poverty in our country is mostly just a way of life in the rest of the world. This yeah. is how most people live. And um, what really bothers me is that people will also say things like, oh, you know, uh, Jesus hated wealth. Like, I, you often get into this debate by, by extremely misinformed people who believe yeah. that Jesus was a socialist. And they'll say things like, oh, you know, well, Jesus hated wealth. It's like, dude, what would have been considered wealth 2,000 years ago in the, the region Jesus occupied, what would have been considered wealth there doesn't even compare to what lower class people in America have access to today. Yeah, and usually people in the uh, the the wealthy people back then are usually ill-begotten gains. They usually had some form of the government. No, it's very yeah. true. Yeah, they were, you know, they were with the state, they were with the Romans, um and they were basically, ex you know, tax collectors collecting taxes, which by the way, Jesus was not very fond of the tax collectors. Um yeah, <laughs> he very was true. not. Uh he never actually said like he what he was saying was give all everything that you have and give it to the poor. You know, like the he never said that the, the love of money is evil, root or the root of all evil. It's it was the love of money that's the root of all evil. That you know that you are you know, it's easier for a rich man to get into the eye of the needle. What he's really talking about is people becoming like you know, like becoming so greedy and, and wanting everything for themselves and you know, like just basically like he was describing the, the, you know, the almost the straw man of what people consider rich, you know, today, which was actually the case back then, you know, where they were actually terrible yeah. people, like kind of like the sheriff of Runningham and you know, the prince and all that stuff and Robin Hood. Well, there's different scenarios. Dinesh, you know, you're right. Din yeah. Dinesh D'Souza writes about this. Uh, I actually first heard the idea from him, though he's not the first to say it. But basically, throughout history, wealth was gained by conquest until very recently when we started to develop market systems. And under those, wealth isn't gained by conquest. So to compare the rich of those days to the rich of today is very dishonest. But going back to the quotes that Jesus made, particularly, you know, it's easier for uh, what was it a camel to get through the eye of a needle than it is for a rich man to get into heaven. Part of what that is interpreted to say, or part of my understanding, is the idea that it's it's impossible without God. Because the whole point of Scripture is anything is possible with God. So yeah, it's going to be difficult for a rich person to get to heaven, but they, they're just going to need to watch their backs and be more vigilant than the average person is in terms of their moral conduct. Yeah. It didn't mean he hated rich people. Yeah. I think that a lot of that but kind he of did, goes It in. should be said, like, he does... I, I don't want it to, I don't want it to make it sound that like Jesus was Ayn Rand by any means either. Like that's that's the kind of attitude the church rejects as well. But um Especially it with the is new like pope. you absolutely should help the poor. Well yeah. yeah, oh yeah, definitely. I think oftentimes when people bring up libertarianism within the church, they're referring specifically to that straw man, like the Ayn Rand type of libertarian, which of course I'm not. I don't know if you are, but that's no. not my view of the world. They're like, oh, anyone who doesn't have as much as I am is a parasite, et cetera, et cetera. And now here I am, straw manning Ayn Rand. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. That's not like, you, you get the point. <laughs> what Ayn Rand was saying. <laughs> that's kind of the that's left That's not exactly what yeah. Ayn Rand said. Yeah, that's the left straw man of Ayn Rand, but it's like even... Even so, like they're straw manning the wrong position when they're trying to straw man me. <laughs> like, yeah, that's not even my view. But, but uh, no, I, I. So it's like wealth is something that should be shared. But again, it's one of those things that should be done voluntarily. I mean, people, if it's not done voluntarily, it's theft. You're just stealing from the person. But, but we're preaching to the choir at this point. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna get more taxation to theft means. By the way, that's gonna be another forecast. I'm gonna oh, be. Yeah. I'm tired of them. I'm so tired of the taxation is theft mm -hmm. memes. I mean, I, I like the taxation is theft. Yeah, that's great. That, I, I have no problem with that. It's just that they're so unfunny. They're so unfunny.
some of them are pretty funny. Some of them make me laugh just because it feels like really ironic and meta. Like they feel yeah. like these ironic memes, and you're like, ah, it's funny because it's not funny. There was like, one that someone posted to my funny. wall that I actually got me a chuckle, and it was the um, uh, Christmas story. You know where the kid gets the uh, the decoder ring, and he's listening to, <laughs> he's like decoding it, and it says taxation oh, is theft, <laughs> and he had this look on his face like. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. And I was like, that's, that's literally awesome, me dude. with all these taxation is theft memes everywhere. <laughs> dude. But yeah. I, Other than that, I have I not been like, laughing. I feel like taxation is theft is our version of gender is a social construct. <laughs> like if gender is a social construct is Tumblr's thing, like taxation is theft is our thing. Yeah, and, and the or the alt right equivalent would be um uh Oh, anti-racism is anti-white. <laughs> it's code for anti-white. Anti-racism is anti-white. That's so true. <laughs> pro-diversity just means pro-white. Oh, God. <laughs> or anti-white, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, feminism is, is means you want equality for all genders. <laughs> that's right. Did you know that? That feminism? That's literally all it means. There's no other implications. Yeah, then everybody is a feminist. No Every feminist single person. Organ- n- Ever, no, and no feminist organization has ever done anything bad ever because feminism just means equality. You can't. Yeah. Hey, did, did you did you know that um, if you believe in treating others the way you want to be treated, you're a Christian, hands down. By that, <laughs> because <laughs> if 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 feminists if feminism gets to own the equality principle, then like Christianity should get to own the like be nice to people principle. Yeah. So like really, if you believe in gender equality, that means you're trying to do unto others as you'd have them do unto do. So so really, all feminists are Christians. They just they don't realize it, Jim. That's, yeah. And that's what, the real problem. And if you don't want white people to die, then you're basically the alt right, right? <laughs> that's, that's if you don't want white people to die, do you think white people should die? No, the genocide. All right, then you're a yeah, Klan member. Yeah. That, that's all the Klan teaches. No. Do you think America should be great? <laughs> yes. All right. Well, you're a Trump voter. You are. You should vote you for Donald Trump. All, to all make Trump America means. great again, and frankly, he will. And it, it, we get the best people to to make sure that we get America great again. And, and thank you for joining me. Oh, I didn't China. know that you supported me in China. China is, they're killing us. Jeb China. is a mess. <laughs> Jeb is a mess. China is taking advantage of us on these deals. Uh, I should mention that China's not involved in these deals. It's like, Rand is a mess. Rand <laughs> Paul is a big fat mess. I don't know what's on top of his head. It looks like a bunch of pubes, but I, you know, I don't know. Frankly, I, I'm not. I'm calling person. Rand. I'm telling him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if Trump is in a position to insult anyone's hair. Yeah, he, he tried, but I guess it worked because Trump uh, Rand left, and now we're basically going to have. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I cried today. Get, yeah. I don't know if you were. I don't. Were you a Rand fan or no? Here's the thing. I was going to support Rand, but I ended up not doing it. Um, and the reason why was not because I thought he would be a good president, or I think he should that he would be great for whatever, but th- what he was doing and what Ron, Ron Paul did, more than anything else, more than getting more people into the movement, was that they got the, the mainstream media to talk about the word libertarianism as not a, a, in not a pejorative sense. Like, they were like, oh, this person is a libertarian. Yeah. Not, oh, this person is one of those libertarians. Now this they were actually, yeah. libertarian. Yeah, so they were actually putting that word out in the mainstream as not as a pejorative word. And that was the one great thing that they did. Uh, yeah, everything else Rand no, does I, is up for debate, but, <laughs> and his hair. Eh. But no, I, definitely, <laughs> I, I felt like he was, he was, he seemed like he wouldn't be the perfect candidate, but he definitely felt like a step in the right direction. Like if his policies were successful, then we would have someone who could be even yeah, more he, bold in the principles. Yeah. He's pretty much just good on trade. Everything else is kind of, uh, and the constitution. Uh, How dare you? Listen, listen, matey. If you have anything to say about Rand, <laughs> don't ever I'll talk fight you. to him. Or, I'll fight you to death. Don't ever talk about him or his dad again. <laughs> don't ever talk. Ron Paul is like, don't ever talk to me or my son again. Don't ever vote for me or my son ever again. <laughs> uh, um, there was another thing. Oh, we should talk about emojis because you you you've been talking about emojis and somehow boats and emojis oh, yeah, back again. Really we're circling optimistic. we're circling around. It's been twelve episodes now. Going back to one. Going back to the first one. Right? No, no, we only talked about that show. The first one. Uh, so, I um. Yeah. So tell me about the emojis. Uh, no, I don't. The 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 plight that My is the view, emojis. So 
here's what a lot of people don't understand and it's generally their male privilege which uh, blinds them to this reality but emojis are actually incredibly sexist what? they're extremely misogynistic i did I, yeah i did a whole video about this jim they're very misogynistic you know maybe if you listen to women's lived experiences instead of invalidating i'm like right off the bat so that you could derail the discussion you would have known this uh, i only just i only derail it with the uh with the um eggplant everything else yeah i'm all right with but tell, tell me about this like well, what what do women do according to so, emojis <laughs> i heard they only do um, like three well, things jim Yes. Uh, so uh, as a result of, wow, I cannot believe you would just burp right there. Did you just man burp? Yes. Did you just man burp into the microphone? <laughs> oh my gosh, Jim. I can't even talk to you right now. I'm spreading my legs so, right now. Go ahead. Are you kidding me right now? Are you man spreading in there? I won't talk to you if you're man spreading right now. You're taking up space all the way over here in Georgia with that crap. What's up? All right. Let me explain. Let me explain what, what women could do. So I am a proud cuck, Jim, and I am happy if 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 believing in equality makes you a cuck. Oh yeah, I'm a cuck. I'm a cuck. Okay, because I believe in equality, and occasionally I let my wife sleep with other dudes. Oh okay, all right. Yeah, if that makes me a cuck, guilty as charged, Jim. But one thing that I didn't know because of the patriarchal attitudes ingrained into my inferior male mind, which yes is also hurt by patriarchy and which also needs feminism, is that. Women can do more. Women could do more than three things, Jim, and I didn't know that. That's impossible. I didn't That's know that true. women could do more than three things. No, the only thing they yeah, can do Jim, is they can they can they cut their hair, and then it's like this other like a shrugging, and then covering oh their God. head. That's it. That's all I've yeah. ever seen them do. Yeah. I, You're and trust me, male. and trust me, I've seen a lot of porn. That's what all they do in the porn, and it's it's amazing. You're 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 fucking white male. You're a white male. All right. Are you going to listen to me now? Did I make a convincing enough point with that? Yeah, I, I, I understand now. I'm sorry. All right. Now are you ready to listen? Now are you ready privilege. to listen and believe? Of course. All right. Now, please let me continue. Women can do more than these three things. They just choose not to because they've been taught not to by patriarchy. Women would do way more than those three things if it weren't for emojis. But because of emojis, yes, I, I, I will agree. In the outside world, women only do those three things, okay? Mm -hmm. They do only get their hair cut. They do only shrug. And they also only do the third thing. I can't even remember because I'm, I'm inattentive as a male. And I'm going to flagellate. I'm going to self-flagellate later because of that. I, I, I do feel terrible. Wasn't but, one of them surfing? Uh, I think if, there was actually one that was surfing. That, but they, no, they don't know. No, that's it, a boy with long hair. That, oh. is a trans, that is a trans woman or a male with long hair. We don't know the details we have not asked him i think each emoji should come with a set of preferred pronouns <laughs> so we know i guess that's the only logical solution right but but what if yes but what if what if the trans emoji comes out and supports ted ted cruz because the the reason the only reason that caitlin jenner supported the only reason that brave and stunning and beautiful woman caitlin jenner supported ted cruz is because that's all the transgendered emojis are doing jim mm. all the transgendered emojis say cruise with cruise i love ted cruz like have you seen the transgendered emoji plug and that's all they say that's trust the ted. Only oh i saw one that said caitlin trust ted to trust ted trust ted he's my big cuddly teddy bear that's not one it's just but i would use that if i were him i'd take advantage of that <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm here, dude. I'm here. I'm here to debate you on this all day long because women <laughs> deserve better than those emojis. Girls, listen, Jim. Girls like emojis, but there aren't enough emojis to say what girls do. I guess that's just how things are. Boom, 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 you, do you hear how sad I sounded? Yeah. You, do you yeah. hear how sound has? Imagine us seeing a little girl. I know it doesn't mean the same comment just yeah, close I, your eyes you can't up, even on, see me you don't need to close your eyes hold look on. at a picture hold on hold on yeah, okay back up your mic back off your mic just a second there you go okay go ahead you're clipping all right <laughs> i want to get an angry what? message from michael dean like it was great until he started like yelling into the microphone <laughs> go ahead sorry right, to, well, sorry to interrupt listen uh, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, these emojis, these emojis only have me interrupting, so I, Frank, I didn't have a choice. I mean, do you have a philosophy which could disagree with that? Then it's, you were spanked. Um, 
<laughs> Interestingly enough, there are no emojis of parents spanking their children, which is a great one for peaceful parenting. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think any parents are going to spank their kids anymore after this. Okay. That's interesting. So what do you... I'm I, honestly I'm in the mood for for a debate. Do you want to continue debating this, or is there some other sort of topic? I, I, I mean, what, I mean, one of the questions I mean, you clear, have, I think I've eviscerated all your points. You, you did. I, I'm sorry. I, I I was absolutely sure that's all women did. You know, I've seen. No, I've, they do more than those three things. I've seen porn. That's the only thing women are you know good in, and that that and you keep that's, bringing. And that was it. It was just the 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 shrug, the the holding their head, and the haircut. Everything else is just the haircut. That's it. It's mostly all right. So it here's just, the thing: the porn My is the same thing. It's just they're recently, just nude, right? It's they're just do. Is that really it? Is that what that's they it. do? That's they're, all they do. Even it? Wow. Even Society really is forcing these onto women. I will. That's what bothers me. All the female characters seem to only do that as well. Yeah. No, oh, I, I played had, Tomb Raider. It was like, it was kind I of just, curating because because it was so hard to hold the head, and I needed to hold the head in order to get past the second level. But like the controls are messed up on that game. But I, I don't recommend it, dude. You know what? And like, all right, because like, all right, do I want them to make female playable characters that can do more than those three things? Well, th but then it's just a Miss Male character. Yeah. Then they're just making a Miss <laughs> Male character. So like they, they need to find something in the middle, in my opinion. They, Call me crazy. I, um, they need a third I have, option. I have a niece. They need a third option, right? And so my, oh, my oppressive uh, sister, my oppressive sister gendered her child already even though the uh, even though Zer has only been alive even though Z has only been alive for uh, about a year my sister has already gendered isn't her a little child bit, isn't and, a little too um, soon to be sending rules to them <laughs> rules to it that's what i said i was like monty python you have blew my mind all these years ago that's what made me a social justice warrior i saw yeah. that old skit and i was like this is so true far ahead um, of the time but yeah so i try i don't know what it is but I keep trying to pressure my sister to just, you know, not impose this social construct that is gender on this poor, innocent child. And so, like, every day I'll come over and I'll, I'll, I'll display to um, my, my gender-neutral, the gender-neutral child of my sister, since I won't call them my niece. And Nef I Nef will... Nefzer. My Nefzer. My Nefzer. Nefzer, whatever. Go ahead. I will, I, every time I'm in front of my Nefzer... Every time I go over to see my Napster, I do more than those three gestures in front of her, but Z keeps just engaging in those three gestures, and part of me is wondering if there's a genetic component. I hate to admit it. I wonder if there's like a little middle ground you could do. Maybe you could teach her to surf, Zer to surf, and that would be like kind of like a, a step forward. Maybe that would, maybe that would be like a, a you know, baby step out of the way. Or baby step is that is that a little baby you're right is it ageist i'm sorry um that's kind of i'm not trying to turn my napster uh into a a miss male character okay oh okay you're just so teaching her that it's possible to do these things but to not actually do them right is that i yes okay i want her here's the thing i want her to know that she can choose to do whatever she wants and for her to choose exactly what I want for her to choose. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes perfect sense. That shouldn't, that's yeah. not asking that much. Isn't that brilliant? I'm brilliant. <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> but uh, uh, fucking um, emojis, man. What? 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 What is? I blame Trump. And did you notice that, that emojis didn't come to exist? Did, well, did you notice that, that emojis didn't exist until after Trump existed? Trump That's has been a, a person point. for longer than emojis have existed. That's true. That's true. I, I, I actually probably about the time he started spray tanning. It's about about roughly the same time they started coming emojis. out with these emoji thing. I think that's what it was. You know, because correlation yeah. is causation. So every, yeah, every time it, it never fails. Never fails. So is there anything else? We got anything else? Um, uh, is that it? I think I honestly. I'm. St I mean, if I'm still in the mood for debate, if you have anything else to bring up, but otherwise, I'm pretty sure I wrecked like all of your I'm, points. I'm fucking wrecked, man. I'm really wrecked. You got wrecked, dude. You got shrekt. You got shrek the fourth. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. That's <laughs> best shrek film of all of them. Have uh, you not seen it? I'll debate you on this. Shrek four is the best shrek film. It's proved me wrong. 
I've never seen. Prove me wrong, Jim. I've never seen it. I I don't. I've never seen it. I I, I think I've seen the. Of course second not. One. You're a you're a white male. <laughs> Of course you haven't seen Shrek. Yeah, if you're not here to destroy your privilege, then you just need to leave, right? Ugh. If you're not here, this is a safe zone. And if you're not going to deconstruct your privilege and question your unchecked assumptions, then you need to leave. So That's you, what I say to people. Do right, you think she's worse than Charity room. Binks if you were to meet her? Do you think she would be worse than Charity Was that her name, Char- Charity Binks? Chanty Binks? Chanty Binks. Which would be worse? The, 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 the new Chanty Binks. Chanty Binks 2.0. Her mom. Whatever it is. The the one with the little phone. Oh, yeah, like, you mean the the new one? I don't remember the one with the. I I know I know um you're a white male guy. I don't the what is oh, it Charles, oh the oh that oh okay and now I know what you're talking about. I thought you were talking about that old lady with the with the with the long with the long hair and the and the glasses the hipster glasses with the with the. Uh, <laughs> we need some muscle over here. <laughs> that one. You're a white male. I remember that dude now. Sorry, I blame Norcos. I blame Norcos. You're a white male. <laughs> How could you? You know why you forgot him? Norcos. Because he's a white male. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Who's, who's Chanty Banks' mom? Who's Chanty 2.0? Oh, I'll, I'll post a link in the in the description. You'll have to find out when I upload it later, but it's pretty good. Dude, <laughs> she was, she's basically you know yelling. Band is? She, she's, she's yelling at this guy who's videotaping her, uh, and she's videotaping him back going like, you're, like, you're, um, like you are privileged. If, you don't, if you're not going to check your privilege, and if you're not here to help us, uh, help us dis- deconstruct your privilege, then you can go, you know. <laughs> She's That's good. actually pretty awesome. Yeah, it was actually pretty good. Well, she's, she's right, Jim. I don't know why you're laughing at that. I don't know why you think that's a joke. Yeah, I, I didn't think it was a joke. I'm just I'm just laughing that he didn't already know this. I mean, it just makes millions sense. of girls get called bossy every year. We are in the midst of hundreds of thousands of right wing men's rights activist terrorist attacks happening on brave transgendered feminists of color every day. That's what Brussels and was about. That's what Brussels attack was all about, that. right? That's what the Brussels attack was. It was, was right wingers. Yeah. ISIS Pope is MRA. Benedict did 9 11. <laughs> uh, too soon. Pete, that, that's, check that under the Catholic Church's hidden history. Uh, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Get <laughs> into it. Oh, by the way, I should probably Look announce one thing before we go. Um, I got the, the uh, turntable slip mats, Bipcot. They glow in the dark. Have you seen these yet? Did you see the pictures of them that I posted? The, the, um, the, no, the... I'm blind, you ableist. Oh, God damn it. I'm did, sorry. You, did I not tell you this? Yeah, that's why it was not a video I'm a blind podcast. animator. <laughs> blind animator. Yeah. I'm an animator. So... I didn't know this wasn't video. I thought we were in the same room right now. Oh, God. <laughs> so we got the Bipcot what? no government license uh, slip mats for your turntable, and they glow in the dark. They glow blue in the dark, and they're awesome. I'm going to post some pictures. I'm not going to be selling them until the 25th. It's... Which uh, this is coming out on the twenty third, so yeah, we'll do it then. That's so twenty fifth worms. So oh, damn it, wrong show. Damn it. Anything else you wanted to talk about before damn we go? It. <laughs> damn it. Um, I just wanted to tell the audience to check their privileges and um, that I love all of you, and I would cuddle each and every one of you if I had the chance. Yep. Okay. That's is that good? The, is that no, good? I, don't, I don't know if that was good, but it was adequate. It, it, it did what it was supposed it to was do. It was pretty solid. But it was it was very disturbing. I'm disturbed. Hey Jim. Hey Jim. <laughs> I just want to tell you, man. You did me a solid debating those those normies who were trying <laughs> yeah. to trying to argue with me on my video. Oh man. I I just, there's one thing that crawls up my skin is when people think that naming off logical fallacies is an argument. Oh, it drives me nuts. It's not an argument. No, it's a fallacy. It's like, fallacy. Dude, this, <laughs> sir, this is a this is a two minute long cartoon. I couldn't. I'm sorry, I couldn't cover all of the nuances yeah. of your perspective you while did, I was debunking it. You didn't even talk about how how there was like a, a plutocracy going on that the, the state helps people get all this money. Like you didn't even mention that. It's like no, just talking about equality, stupid. We're not talking about that. It's like you dingus. I made a video. I made a little video. Encouraging my fans to help the poor, so naturally socialists got angry at me. Yeah. <laughs> Did you you told your fans to help the poor? What kind of what's what kind of shit is that? Uh, yeah. So yeah. The government for, should be doing it. So what, what what's your channel? I never remember the name of your channel. It's like Cartimation, right? What is it? Cartanimation. Yeah. Poor poor choice on my end. Yeah. Cartanimation, like 
C A R T animation. Like that's how you spell it, fam. But you can it's actually, confusing name. Yeah, you can I actually know. change. You can actually change it. Uh, you can't change the. I don't think you can change the channel name, the URL. But you can definitely change the name of it. You should probably look into that. So Freedom Tunes, right? Freedomtunes.com. You can find oh, it there easy, that. right? Yeah, that's why I'm, well, that's why I'm Jim website, Jesus on YouTube, but my channel name is Mach 1. You mean him, Jesus. Him, Jesus. Yeah, that's right. No, that's cultural appropriation. It's got to be Jim Jesus. You're right. Yeah. Dude, I don't... Ah, maybe I should change my name to Freedom Tunes. I don't know. <laughs> probably. Yeah. So any, anyways, you you can definitely find it on freedomtunes.com, right? Twitter? Well, freedomtunes.com is down. Yay. Oh, fun. Um, well, you can find it on yeah. Lolberts. There's a link to it. <laughs> Lolberts or, um, yeah, Lolberts or Libertarian Republic. Uh, both websites have it. See, you if, know why? If you Fiend phone. You're bip strong more often. It would have worked. This would not have happened. Yeah. I agree with you. I can't disagree with you there. Yeah. You would apply your bib strong pr- properly more times. It, it, this, this would have never happened. You would have gotten to freedomtunes.com. It would have worked. I'm literally about to cry right now because I didn't know I could have changed my name and I, sh- I could have saved so much branding confusion early on. Yeah, just just r- rub it on, on parts of your body. You should be able to, it'll, 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 it'll I think if I rub bib strong it. on me, yeah, I think I'll be fine. Yeah, if I rub bib strong on me. All right. Are you sick of government lackeys who say you didn't build that? Are you tired of elitists like Barack Obama and Al Gore taking credit for the web while trying to take over the web? Are you disgusted by experts whose concept of the internet is that it's a series of tubes? Take back the free market of computing by encouraging software developers to adopt the BIPCOT no-gov license. The BIPCOT no-gov license allows any use or modification except by governments. Go to bipcot.org. That's Bravo, India, Papa, Charlie, Oscar, Tango, dot org. For some reason in, in this country, and in a bunch of Western world, it's okay to just judge. Hey, this is Michael Dean from the Freedom Fiends Radio Show. Computer programmer Derek Slopey and I have created Fiend Phone. I'm using Fiend Phone right now to talk with and record one of my co-hosts in real time. Take it, Davi. Hey, this is Davi Barker, and I'm a thousand miles away from Michael, but we sound like we're in the same room. We sure do, Davi. So, Davi, please tell the nice people more about FiendPhone. FiendPhone is free, no-gov software that opens up a global world of possibilities for collaborative, high-quality, remote voice media production, and I'm digging it. People can try FiendPhone right now at FiendPhone.com, but we're also raising money to vastly improve FiendPhone and vastly improve independent talk media worldwide. So go to FiendPhone.com to help out. Who will build the audio roads? We will, with your help. That's FiendPhone.com, F-E-E-N-P-H-O-N-E.com, Foxtrot, Echo, Echo, November, Phone.com. FiendPhone, I never knew remote audio could be this good.